Hi, my name is Arcadia Page, and I'm here to show you how I use Workflowy. Um, a little bit about myself. I am a writer slash artist with a day job, and I mostly use Workflowy to plan my week and also to organize and gather information. Like, for example, like when, I, um, when it comes to using Workflowy to plan my week, I really rely a lot on sprints. It was a concept introduced in the Workflowy blog, and I loved it so much that I decided to include um, this concept in a recent book that I published. Um, for those who really like like Meyer Briggs, um, I'm an INFP, which is known for who is known for being um, disorderly and disorganized, and I am definitely a disorganized INFP. But um, I ended up writing a book, How I Learned to Plan as an INFP, and in that book, I actually mentioned how I use sprints and workflow to plan my week, and what a huge difference that's made. I also use Workflowly a lot to gather information. I love clipping information from websites, and I also read a lot of ebooks. So I use Workflowly to organize the information from a lot of the ebooks that I read. So my favorite web clipper is this one right here for, for Chrome. It's called Workflowly Clipper. <laughs> Very straightforward. Um, what I really like about Workflowly Clipper for Chrome is that it allows you to make a list as your inbox. So that means you don't have to like copy it from a website and then go to Workflow and paste it. It clips it straight to Workflow. And I also like how I can um, highlight um, different um, paragraphs from articles I like and it can clip it to Workflow in a note as a note. And I also can add my own personal notes and clip it to Workflow. Um, my inbox for all my web clippings are is right here under a clip. And um, I just kind of like dump everything there. And when I have some time, I go ahead and just organize the clips into my reference section. And my reference section is pretty, pretty much like a library. It's full of different topics and it's organized in alphabetical order. And it allows me to find my web clippings very easily because I like having things organized by topic. But then also, um, since I read books, I also have my ebooks that I read organized by topic. So since the two are mixed together, I like to use I like to use this book hashtag to filter out all the books that um, that I've read and taken notes on. So these are all like the books for my hashtags, and um, I like to export my notes from Kindle or any other ebook reader. A lot of ebook readers allow you to. Um, export your highlights and your notes and I like to paste that under my bullets as a note so that's been like really really that's been really good for me um, to save information uh, one thing about the way that I use workflowy is that I um, I have a I have referrals but still it's like a free account so that means that I have a limit to my bullets but this is really actually a good thing when you're a prolific web article clipper <laughs> because it allows you to just save what's meaningful. So when I see that it's running low, my, my quota is running low, I can go through and delete all the um, I can delete all the all the um, links that are no longer very important or weren't very useful. And also another neat thing that I do is that um, sometimes I find books. And I find website information that's so useful that I just want to like keep it all together um, as reference for future reference. So that's caused me to create these kind of like collections I like to call a handbook. Click on that. So basically, these are collections of really useful information. Like for example, with my blogging, it's just full of like useful information I found online and in books, all put into one place. And also, besides it just being resources. I also include like personal methods and observations. Like as I'm blogging, I learn things, so I note what I learn there. So it makes this comprehensive resource that I can easily refer to in order to kind of keep my method um, the same. So that's basically a short rundown of how I use Workflow to organize information. But really, um, for me, Workflow is almost like this huge universe. It's like I use it to, like, as you see, I have my projects here. I use it to, like, plan my week and I also use it to collect information. So it's a pretty wide going thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this short video about how I use Workflowy and I hope you find it helpful.